Hey guys, second video of today, and I just really wanted to make a specific episode about Norwegian teenagers. Well, wow, like, because we had like a, um, a 16 year old at the office today, and he was helping me out, and I was teaching him shit, like, I don't really know much about, but I can teach him how to make a website, and he, uh, he helped me around. And what I find interesting is that he, well, he was not a conspiracy theorist kind of thing. It was nothing like that. But he knew the economy is falling down. Like, he knew. It was not like, is it falling down? It was not, uh, things are, could look good. It was like the system is good. It was like, yeah. The system is falling down. Like, this is obvious. And it was just, well, I feel like that's a normal representation of a Norwegian teenager. Like, they know. My parents don't know. I'm trying to make them understand, but they don't know. And they should know because they know the system and they know that it's fucking up, but he, he knew, he didn't know why, he didn't know anything about fiat currencies and petrol dollar and wars in the Middle East and the United States being basically just fueled on loans, he didn't know any of this shit, but he knew, he knew that the economy is falling down, and I think I'm actually I'm, I'm quite optimistic about the younger Norwegian generation. Like I know you guys in America, there's a lot of people complaining about the American youth, and I studied there. I complained about American youth, so I know this. I know it, but I just always assumed that. Norwegian youth was also not that good anymore, like, kind of dead, like, society doesn't really care about anything anymore, it's just all about me, 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 selfies, selfies, but that was nothing in him, like, we were taking selfies and shit, we're in media office, we're checking lights and everything, take selfies, you use Snapchat, and they do, I don't. Uh, but he, he wasn't influenced at all, like, at all. He knew things were wrong, and, now oh, yep, he's young, and we're Norwegian, and being Norwegian is very, very, very different from being anywhere else than Scandinavia. When, when we believe in the system, we could be true. We could have it right. There is a, it's not that big, but there is a chance that the Norwegian government actually wants the best for us. That they don't have a choice in the system and that they actually want the best for us. I'm not sure if I believe that that much, but there is a real chance. That's the thing. And. For someone like just a normal teenager to not trust the system at all. Now, he was from where I'm from, uh, Badum. Um, it's like the, the rich suburbs around the capital. That's where the like upper middle class people live. They live a lot of places, but that's like the place that is known for uh, upper middle, upper class people, and you would think that he, like me, totally believed in the system. That's what we're taught. That's especially there, but no. No. And he was dressed well, all the things you would assume from there, but no. He didn't believe in the system. That was just some stupid term, why would he believe in the system, it's falling apart, and 
I'm optimistic. I really am. I'm sorry, people in America, but I'm not optimistic for you guys at all. I don't know how, but most of Americans have lost their will to learn and understand. It has to be the schooling system, but it's kind of similar to ours, and I don't really understand how you lost it. Like, how you lost your will to learn new things. Like, when I always, when I speak with fellow Norwegians, they always know random things. Like, you know, we're the internet generation. We know a lot of random shit, but... They just know things, you just pick it up from places, like, yeah, it's useful information, I'll, I'll take that with me. And the Americans I met didn't seem to do that, because I knew more trivia about America than many of the Americans I was with when I studied there. and. That can only, only be the schooling system, because I also knew a lot more trivia about every other place in the world. And they're supposed to learn about, well, they're supposed to learn about America. That's their history, and it's so important, and it's only us. And how did I know more than them? It's, it's not right. That's shows something fundamentally wrong because no one has ever thought me taught me anything about the United States. We didn't learn about the United States in school, why would we? You're the United States. There's a lot of history to go through. We're not gonna focus on you guys. We're gonna focus on the war. Yeah, you're gonna be mentioned a lot, but we're not gonna focus on America. And how did I still know more than so many of them? And I am not optimistic. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm not optimistic for that country. Um, and if any of you guys from America sees this, I would advise to run anywhere else, literally anywhere else. I would rather move to like Nigeria than stay in America right now. Because I'm just not optimistic. Um, now, with the Mandela effect and all that shit, like, we're probably all connected and all of that. And um, what happens there happens here, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's going to be really, really bad in America really 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 bad because you guys have so many guns and you don't like each other and it's a fundamental thinking of selfishness like truly truly selfishness like i don't want to share my work yeah but what if your work is useless and everything is done by robots well yeah i don't want to share my work and what how how can you be so selfish you can't even do something that's better for you because you want to be selfish. It's, I'm not optimistic. And luckily, because of a Norwegian teenager, I am kind of optimistic about Norway. It's, it might all go to hell. We uh, might. This might be the apocalypse. We might uh, go to the fourth dimension. We might do anything. But if we take away all the <coughs> all the spirituality and all the strange stuff, and we just go go down, and we look at numbers, and we look at the reality of this, uh, I want to call it the darkest timeline. This is not our timeline, and in honor of community, I decided to dub it the dark, the darkest timeline. And 
I am not confident that America is gonna do well in this the darkest timeline. Way too many guns, way too many selfish people, and literally no government. Like, there's no government for the people to take care of the people. There is only rich people trying to control. You don't even have... Like, you give food stamps instead of money. Food stamps instead of money. Like, yeah, you're poor, we're gonna take care of you, but you're not gonna be able to choose what you buy? Why? Why? Isn't it, if you're taking care of someone, it's not just about food, it's about everything. And it's about the freedom to make the choices you want to make. Like, there's 50 million people on food stamps and you're giving them food stamps? Of course the economy is fucking falling down. There's 50 million people who literally can't buy anything. They can't, because you're only giving them money for food stamps, or just giving them food. That's, that's a large part, that's one-sixth of the population can't buy anything. If they were, um, if they were giving money instead of just food, they could buy stuff. They could be consumers of things. But if you only give them food stamps, then they don't consume. Food is not consumption in capitalism. Food is necessary. It has nothing to do with anything else. You can make money on food, you can do things, but it's... It's something everyone has to have, and it doesn't matter the system, it doesn't matter everything, everyone has to have food. All the growth, everything that has to do with modern economies are about buying shit, buying useless stuff. Phone and, yeah, PlayStation, pillows and shit, televisions, you know, that's what fuels the economy. Things. Things that people have to produce, and they will make money on producing it because people want it. That's what fuels the economy. If you take 50 million people off, it, it can't work. It just it can't. It's supposed to be about people buying shit. And I just don't see how you guys are going to make it through because you don't make anything. You don't have anything, and who's gonna just give you random stuff? Like, you guys are a lot of people, you're gonna need a lot of power, you're gonna need a lot of oil, you're gonna need a lot of things to make society run, and no one is gonna send it to you. This is the, this is the sad, sad part of the economy. No one is going to send you anything because your dollars are totally worthless. And the world doesn't like you anymore. When I was, before 2008, when I just started high school, what we call high school, um, everyone loved America. Everyone. Like, that was the thing. Like, the home, the land of the free, the home of the brave, the American dream. And the 16 year old today was like, yeah, no, America sucks. Why would anyone go there? And that, and that was, it was clearly something he would say to his friends too. I just met the guy. And I hadn't really given much of an indication either way or the other and people don't like America around the world and you don't have the things you need and no one is going to help you and you guys should run all of you because your government 
they're gonna do everything to be in control. Um, our government, yeah, they're building clean power. So we have power no matter what. And we have oil too, by the way. We don't need that power at all. We can use oil for anything, or very few people. And we still produce too much clean power, so we have to sell it. That's what my country does. Your country makes slave camps under Walmarts. And you need to run really, really quickly because I'm optimistic about some places in the world. And hopefully, after the chaos, things can be well. But there's going to be chaos. And it's going to be really bad, really, really bad if you're in America, if you're in a large city in Europe. Um, it's it's going to be rough. It's going to be really, really, really rough. And, well, there wasn't really any more point with this. It was just basically run, forest, run. What is it? Scary movie 2? Run, bitch! Run! Anyway, let's end this one and see. Maybe I'll have something more to say. I don't know.